Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Mood Makers Liquid Lip Colors. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favorite, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I'll do my best to reply back. Each liquid lip color retails for $10.99 at Ulta Beauty and comes in eight different shades. I do want to read a little bit about these liquid lip colors on Ulta's website. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Mood Makers Liquid Lip Color creates a flawless, high pigment matte finish with up to 16 hours of wear. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. On the cap, it says Superstay Matte Ink. Underneath that, it says Maybelline New York. It has these cute little smiley faces. You get five milliliters of product or 0.17 fluid ounces. On this side of the packaging, you have the barcode printed. On the back, you have the same design. And then on this side, there's nothing printed. Up at the top, there's nothing printed. Down at the bottom, you have the shade name. This shade is in 430 Mediator. Here's what the applicator looks like. It's double-sided. Mediator is described as a mid-tone yellow nude. That's pigmented. There is a slight sweet scent. It smells very good. Here's what the shade in Mediator looks like. This shade is too light for my skin tone. The next shade is in 435. This color is called Destressor. Destressor is described as a mid-tone rosy nude. That shade is beautiful. Here's what the color in Destressor looks like. This shade is a little bit too bright for my liking. The next shade is in 440. This color is called Pleasure Seeker. Pleasure Seeker is described as a papaya orange. That shade is vibrant. These are starting to smell more citrusy than sweet. Again, it smells very good. Here's what the shade in Pleasure Seeker looks like. This color applied very streaky on my lips. I had a hard time getting an even application. The next color is in 445. This shade is called Energizer. Energizer is described as an electric coral red. Another pigmented color. Here's what the shade in Energizer looks like. This color isn't as pigmented. You can see my natural lip peeking through. I'm gonna build it up. Here's what two layers looks like. For some reason, I'm not getting an even application. It's more of a gel texture, which is weird. I guess that's why it's not buildable. I don't like this particular shade. The next shade is in 450. This shade is called Motivator. Motivator is described as a universal red. This color isn't red at all. It's more of a pink. Here's what the shade in Motivator looks like. Again, this shade applied very streaky on my lips and it's not as pigmented. You can see my natural lip peeking through. I don't agree with the shade description. It's more pink in person than red. Again, I'm gonna build up the color. Here's what two layers looks like. It looks a little bit better. The next shade is in 455. This shade is called Harmonizer. Harmonizer is described as a brick red. That's beautiful. Here's what the shade in Harmonizer looks like. This shade is stunning. I didn't have any issues with this particular color. The second to last shade is in 460. This shade is called Optimist. 
Optimist is described as a bright magenta. This shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Optimist looks like. This color isn't as pigmented as the previous shade. You can see my natural lip peeking through. I'm gonna apply a second layer. It looks so much better. I hate applying a second coat when I know this formula is one swipe pigmented. The last shade is in 465. This shade is called Reviver. Reviver is described as a bright fuchsia. That's gorgeous. Here's what the last shade in Reviver looks like. Another gorgeous shade. I will be wearing the shade in Reviver throughout my entire day and leave below in the description box how it wears. Here's what all eight shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. Let's see if there's any transfer. There's a tiny bit of transfer. I think that's from the last shade, but these are dried down completely. See? My three favorite shades in this collection was Distressor, Mediator, and Harmonizer. These other five shades applied streaky, and I feel like the formula was different. This was more of a gel-like texture, which I didn't like. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.